Sasha 404 here and today I'm here with a brand new video and this is just not any type of video it's a collab video and I'm super super excited and I have two special ladies that are part of this collab and here they are what's up guys I'm Kira Nae, and I will be doing the outfits portion of this collab if you want to see some really bomb behind outfits <laughs> um, definitely come over to my channel please subscribe and like after you finish watching the video that you're on now but I would really love it if you came by. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing this holiday glam cut crease makeup look. It has been a while since I filmed a makeup tutorial, so I thought this would be the perfect opportunity since the holidays are around the corner. So yeah, this is the makeup look, and I hope you guys enjoy. So yeah, make sure when you're done watching my video, you go ahead and click on their links. They'll be down below or at the end of this video, so you guys should go subscribe to them because they're awesome and they're beautiful. I mean, come on. Did you see them? They're awesome. But yeah, today's video is a DIY quick and easy Christmas treats video. And these treats are so good. Like, literally, they're, they're tasty. I tasted them. My family's tasted them. They're good. I'm not just trying to pull one over on you guys, I promise. But yeah, I'm super excited for this collab and I'm super excited for Christmas. So if you're excited for Christmas, thumbs up. I even kind of decorated just a bit, just a bit. And I got a little Christmas tree and I got some stockings, but you can't see because I'm kind of blocking them. But hey, I'll try to find somewhere else to put them so that you guys can see them. But I'm super excited and I got my little Santa hat on. It don't fit that much, y'all. So it's kind of just sitting on top of my head, guys. So yeah. We're just going to pretend it fits. <laughs> so, yeah, if you guys are excited, I'm going to stop talking and just get into the video. So, let's go. Okay, guys, so let's get started. You're going to need parchment paper, a bowl, some sprinkles, some Christmas color icing, chocolate chips, and marshmallows. And what we're going to go ahead and do first is pour the chocolate chips into a bowl, and then we're going to stick this bowl in the microwave and warm it up. 30 second increments and after 30 seconds you want to make sure you stir it before you put it back in the microwave so it doesn't get all sticky and you know all over the bowl and things like that. So now we're going to use apartment paper, put it down, and we're going to get three marshmallows. And I'm only making three marshmallow pops. So we're going to go ahead and put three of them on each skewer. So it depends on how much you want to make, but I'm only making three like I said. So yeah, go ahead and try to make them the same size so it'll be easier. And you're going to go ahead and dip these into the chocolate and make sure it's all covered up. So after you've dipped all the marshmallow pops into the chocolate, you're going to go ahead now and get your icing. I have white and green. I forgot red. I should have got red, but it's okay. I have it in my sprinkles. So you're going to go ahead and drizzle the icing all over the pops, any design you like or whichever. I did like a zigzag kind of thing. No particular design at all. And then I'm going to go ahead and use the sprinkles. And these are the finished pops. So good. So good. Okay, so our next treat is going to include mini pretzels, caramel, chocolate chips, and some parchment paper. And a tray. So first you're going to go ahead and lay however many pretzels you want. And you're going to just put them in a row. Um, I think I did about nine. And then you're going to go ahead and take the caramel and break them up into two or three pieces and put them on one side of the pretzels. It doesn't matter which side. You can put them on the right, left, or bottom. And yeah, and then we're going to go ahead and put these in the oven for about maybe like not even five minutes. You just want the caramel to melt, as you can see here. And then we're going to take that melted chocolate that we used earlier and put it on the other side of the caramel. So whichever side you didn't put chocolate, put caramel. <laughs> And then after that, we're going to quickly put sprinkles so that the sprinkles can sink into the caramel and the chocolate. And honestly, guys, I think this was my favorite treat. It was so tasty. Love it. Okay, guys, for this one, you're going to need the mini pretzels again, some white chocolate chips, and some Rolos. I think it's called Rolos. I don't know how to pronounce them. Yeah, the chocolates, the little Rolo chocolates. Okay. 
Okay, so now you're gonna take four pretzels, and it depends on how many you want, but it's four pretzels for one like flower looking thing. We're gonna make snowflakes, guys. So yeah, after you do that and make them look like little snowflakes, you're gonna take the Rolos and you're gonna put them in the center of the pretzels, like just right on top. And after you've done that, we're gonna put them in a the microwave to melt the Rolo chocolate bus for a little bit. And also, I didn't show this part, but after I put them in a the microwave, I did the refrigerator to harden so that they dry and that the pretzels stick together. And then what we're gonna do is use the white chocolate. You're gonna melt it like we did the chocolate in the beginning. And we're gonna use the white chocolate and spread it all over the pretzel snowflakes. And then what I got was some like silver glitter, glitter. Some silver sprinkles, it looks like glitter, but some silver sprinkles and I just put a ton of it all over and yeah, it came. All right guys, and for our last treat, we're gonna just make a simple pup chow. So all of these ingredients you will need. So this one is kind of self-explanatory, but yeah, you just pour some of the popcorn in there, and then we're gonna do a little bit of the pretzels. Um, I didn't really use the marshmallows because they were too big, but if you have mini marshmallows, it will work perfectly. And then what I did was put some M&Ms also, and then some of the white chocolate and milk chocolate into the bowl. And then that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this and I really hope you guys enjoy these treats. They're really yummy. So you should definitely make them for Christmas. That's why this video is up before Christmas. You have plenty of time and they're quick and simple and easy. And yeah, I'll have it linked down below all the ingredients and things like that. Okay? Okay. This is the end of my video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to go ahead and check out my girl Kira's channel and also Ronnie. It'll be linked right here. Their channels and their videos or either or. But you guys should go ahead and check out theirs. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel right here. And check out my other videos. Here was my last video. So thank you guys so, so, so much. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye. <laughs>